Now that we've discussed in that last terribly morbid lecture of how low testosterone could be ending your life early, let's correct it. Let's get in there. Let's get in the arena. Let's get in the zone. Let's work on bringing that testosterone up. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the ways that you may, may be able to recognize that you have low testosterone. If you've been extremely moody lately or have been experiencing radical changes in mood, that may be one of the ways that you can identify that you've experienced low testosterone. Uh, one obvious way is you can always go to the doctor, your physician, and get tested for your testosterone levels, and they would be a wonderful reference to give you the numbers and write on the money if you're high, if you're low, if you're in the middle, wherever you're at with your testosterone production. If you noticed a decrease in your sex drive or erectile dysfunction recently, then that is another great way. Those are a couple of great other ways to identify that you may have low testosterone production. If you've noticed a decrease in your strength gains uh, as far as in the gym goes or the amount of work that you're able to perform in general or a loss in muscle mass, that's another way to identify that your testosterone levels could be low. If you have a decreased mood, so if you were former optimist turned pessimist or you have overall or a decrease in overall feelings of your health and self-confidence. That is another, another great way that could be detrimental to your health. It's a sign of having low testosterone. If you notice that you're a little slow on the uptake or your mental sharpness is decreased, you could just be exhausted or stressed out, but that is also another way to tell that you have low testosterone. If you were formerly really active and now are having trouble getting yourself off the couch or out of bed to go to the gym, play sports with your friends, get yard work done, uh, be up on your feet and doing work or having fun, uh, then that could be another sign of low testosterone production. If you noticed increase in body fat and an increase in abdominal fat particularly, that's another great sign. If you're experiencing night sweats or trouble sleeping, you may want to go in to see a doctor or a specialist about that in case it's something worse, but hopefully it's just a case of uh, moderately low testosterone. That's something that we can work with. That's something that we can improve. Depression is another serious sign of low testosterone. If you feel like you've been more depressed lately, uh, as before, you may want to see a specialist, therapist, counselor, physician, somebody who can help you out. With that, uh, I would definitely recommend as you do that to get a testosterone test to see if low testosterone levels could be one of the reasons that, uh, that you are experiencing depression lately. And if you just have a general loss of enthusiasm in everyday life when you were formerly more enthusiastic, I would say go get tested uh, for your, your testosterone, get it checked out. And uh, anyways, these are some of the ways that you can identify if you have low testosterone levels. And in the next lectures, we will be discussing how to fix that.